Welcome back to Fast Track. I'm Sarah Haynes. And I'm Joe Perillo. In late September, the Toyota Motor Company announced it would be recalling millions of its vehicles. The recall is the largest of its kind in American history. Eric Sarul has the details. One of the giants in the industry has a giant problem on their hands. In fact, the problem lies at the feet of their consumers. The removable floor mats in many popular Toyota models may cause accelerator pedals to get stuck, possibly leading to a crash. So far, 102 incidents have been documented by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration involving Toyota's defective floor mats, which could unintentionally accelerate a vehicle. Owners are urged to remove their driver's side floor mat at once and not replace it at this time. The roughly 4 million Toyota models that are affected by this massive recall include Camry, Avalon, Prius, Tacoma, Tundra, and some Lexus models. For more information on the recall, call the Toyota, Lexus, or the NHTSA hotlines at the numbers on your screen. The Japanese-based automaker says Toyotas made and sold in the United States are the models in question. I'm Eric Sarul reporting for Fast Track. Famed aviator Amelia Earhart is currently in the spotlight, proving that her legend and her life story will never be forgotten. Bram Wall has more. The Lost Journey of Amelia Earhart, a CBS Sunday morning special, retraces Amelia Earhart's last flight. The story found its way to Purdue, just as Amelia did, and included an interview of one Purdue faculty member who has been studying Earhart. Robin Jensen, an assistant professor of communication, has been studying the Earhart collection to unveil information about Earhart's past. You can see Jensen in the rest of the Amelia Earhart story on the CBS News website. In addition, Amelia's story will be told on the silver screen as Hilary Swank portrays Earhart in the new film Amelia, which opens in theaters October 23rd. For more information about Amelia Earhart, you can visit Purdue's online archives for the world's largest collection of Earhart papers, photos, and memorabilia. This is Bram Wall for Fast Track. Now for a look at what's going on around Purdue's campus. Here are J.D. Schomburg and Janae Lee with this week's community calendar. Good evening, everyone. It's a nice calendar. The Queer Student Union is offering some fun for stressed out students. And since Halloween is right around the corner, the PMU is giving everyone a reason to break out the fishnets. But first up, the National Organization of Gay and Lesbian Scientists and Technical Professionals is celebrating Intersex Awareness Day on October 26th from 9 to 10.30 in Physics Room 331. They will be screening the film XXY, which follows the story of a 15-year-old intersex person in order to facilitate discussion on the issues and struggles of the intersex community. This event is meant to be both educational and entertaining and is open to all. From October 26th to December 6th, the Purdue Gallery will feature Hard Rain, the late works of Mary Hamilton between the hours of 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. The painter was diagnosed with advanced melanoma in June of 2002, but managed to continue teaching and traveling for six years until her passing last January. On Thursday, October 29th, 6 p.m., Hamilton's husband will speak on the life and work of his wife, and a reception will follow in her honor in Stewart Center. The Purdue Gallery is also featuring a Patty and Rusty Roof exhibit titled Envision Revisit, beginning October 26th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Envision portion features artwork from current art education majors, and Revisit features work from 25 art education alumni representing four decades of material. The Nippon Karate Do Club, sponsored by the Japan Karate Association, is inviting everyone to call their call out Tuesday, October 27th at 7 p.m. in Kanoi Hall, room 228. The organization is instructed by Dr. Mark Rogers and is the only Karate Do Club on campus featuring national competitors. During the event, visitors can participate in exercises on how to punch, kick, throw, sweep, and meditate. If you're looking for a fun study break, the Purdue Queer Student Union is hosting a game night Wednesday, October 28th from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. in Stewart Center, room G20. Game night is open to everyone regardless of their sexual orientation. And the QSU will provide apples to apples, mafia, and euchre, but attendees are welcome to bring their own games. The Purdue Student Union Board is sponsoring a viewing of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It'll take place Friday, October 30th in the PMU South Ballroom at 11 p.m. Admission for Purdue students showing ID will be $4 and general admission will cost $8. There will be survival kits available for $5 along with prize costume giveaway contest. For more information, you can go to www.union.purdue.edu forward slash PSUB. 
Also, for our music fans, OAR is giving a concert that Friday, October 30th in the Elliott Hall of Music. There are still tickets available at campus box offices and through Ticketmaster.com. OAR concert will feature special guest Elmwood and is brought to you by the Student Council Committee. The show will begin at 7.30 and you can purchase your tickets now. The Purdue University Latino Cultural Center will be presenting Dia de los Muertos on Friday, October 30th from 4 to 7 p.m. at the YWCA of Greater Lafayette. The event is open to the public and traditional cuisine, music, craft, activities, and altar exhibits will be offered for your enjoyment. For additional details, call 765-494-2530 or visit www.purdue.edu forward slash LLC. And the All Student Organization Presidents will open the doors of the PMU North Ballroom Sunday, November 1st for their 10th annual President's Dinner for those interested in attending. The reception is sponsored by Student Activities and Organizations and the Office of the Dean of Students. Registration and check-in will begin at 4 p.m., followed by dinner at 4.45 in the North Ballroom. Place your reservations now by calling 765-494-1231 or register online at getinvolved.purdue.edu. We hope you enjoyed tonight's calendar, and remember you can submit your organization or group-sponsored events for our calendar on our Facebook page. And as always, be sure to tune in weekly for more local and campus updates. Now back to the studio. Ceramic creations and traditional clothing are among several exotic artifacts that can be seen at the Shrouds, Mass, and the Floating World exhibit. Let's take a look. The Robert L. Ringel Gallery in the Purdue Memorial Union is boasting a display featuring international objects from different regions of the world. The exhibit shows authentic attire, art, and ritual items from South America, Africa, and Asia. The display will run until December 6th. The hours are Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Thursday until 8 p.m., and Sunday, 1 to 5 p.m. Thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of Fast Track. Join us again next week.